Hello, this is Philip Cohen, here to talk today about teaching Trump in sociology class. I have strong personal opinions about President Trump, whom I have called corrupt, incompetent, and authoritarian. When I voiced these opinions on Twitter, our president blocked me. Along with six other plaintiffs, I sued him in federal court, and we won on First Amendment grounds. But how do I teach about the president in a way that is both honest and educational, as well as fair to all students? Trump has used his office to enrich himself and his family. He has undermined democracy by deliberately telling lies about his opponent and the election. Voluminous evidence shows that he has engaged with several foreign powers for his own political ends. Under the leadership of his administration, the status of the country in the eyes of the world has diminished. Trump has failed catastrophically in his handling of the coronavirus pandemic. He has explicitly encouraged racial division and violence. He has demonized immigrants and separated children from their parents, many times permanently and without justification, with tragic consequences. He has been incompetent in his administration, including hiring incompetent people, firing people because they annoyed him, and promoting chaos and turnover at the executive level. He has attacked science within his administration, first with climate change, energy, and the environment, and then with the coronavirus pandemic draining the federal government of its scientific expertise and global authority. Trump lies constantly, sometimes with a purpose and sometimes apparently with the goal of undermining the concept of truth itself, which is a well-known historical tendency of authoritarian leaders. He is unusually ignorant of history and science, does not read, and portrays a false sense of his own brilliance. He admits no error and hypocritically embraces Christianity despite a long history of disdain for the church and its moral teachings. My curation and discussion of these facts is of course affected by my ideological beliefs and moral framework and worldview. I make no attempt to hide those, but neither will I dictate them to my students. There are arguments in Trump's favor, especially from people who like taxing rich people and corporations less. Many people have benefited from the actions of his administration. The national interest is a subjective concept, and I can't offer an objective assessment of how he has or has not served that interest. But these facts are true. In our ostensibly democratic system, you should be able to vote for whomever you like. You may express your opinions respectfully in this class. You may question and interrogate my presentation of the facts and offer your own. As a student in my classes, you have a right to be respected, and I will not impugn your character or intentions. I will not permit you to abuse others or spread misinformation in the class, but I will encourage you to express your opinion, and that makes our classroom an educational environment.